Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of CDS Views. So in the previous session we saw how we can use the currency conversion function to convert one amount into another one. Now into this session we are going to see how to extend a CDS view. How to how to extend a extend a CDS view. How to extend a CDS view. So this is will this will be the topic of the session. So what does extend means here? What do I mean by extend? So extend is used to is used to add new columns or in simple word we can say or extend the functionality functionality of a view or table this is a simple definition of extend now if I have to normally see for example let's say let's say if I have to add some new columns new columns in my uh, standard table standard tables for example let's say VBAK and VBAP okay then what we will do then we will use append structure definitely append structure to add or extend the table right same thing is there so whenever you go for any of the standard table you will see lots of columns has already been extended there if you go to any of the tables so let's say i'm logging into my sap system and I'll go to S11. I'll go for VBAK table. And if I check below, same thing I'm going to find that lots and lots of append structure has been added into the system, right? And using this append structure, we are simply extending this table. We are simply adding the new columns into this table. So this is the word extend means here. This is the use of extend. Now in context of CDS view, in context of CDS view, context of CDS view, we can also extend our CDS view. If we talk about CDS view, we can also extend our CDS view. Uh, and what will happen is note. So whenever we will extend a CDS view, a CDS view, a append structure, structure will be added to our corresponding DDIC view, corresponding DDIC view, which will be generated at runtime, generated at the runtime. So a append structure will be added and into that append structure our columns will be there generated okay into that append structure our columns that we have added we will find there okay so what i will do is i will simply go to my cds view this was my cds view which i have created for sales document number now using this particular cds view i will simply extend the functionality okay so how we will do that right click on data definition go for new data definition give the name of your cds view so i will give the name here view 6 and i will pass the description as extend cds view okay go for next button select the transport request go for next now in this time when you will go for template you will go for view extend and you will select this extend view okay extend view and go for finish button so here we will pass our ddic view name okay so let's just pass our some view name here it's 04 i will pass here 5 now so i'll pass here 5 now this will be my old view name which i want to extend okay 
so i will copy the old view name cds view 2 copy it and i will simply paste it here in place of this view name so by default all those columns that we have selected they will automatically come so for example if i check my previous view we have got this five columns up to vbtyp okay now i will add some new columns into this particular view so i will go to my table this is my table i'll go to my table here i'll go to vbak and into this vbak i will simply select my view okay sorry i will simply select some new columns that i want to add so let's say i'm adding network uh, i'll go and i will add network then i will add let's say vkorg so i will add vkorg okay two columns i am adding and i will give them a name also so network will be my net value and vkorg will be my sales organization okay so network i will give a alias here net value net underscore value and vkorg i will give alias here as sales organization okay simple now i will right click and i will go for activate button my view is activating let's see activation finished and i will go for open with data preview so i will pass a view will vbln so 3 4 6 7 8 9 1 okay go for data preview and see the value now if i see its value it has got after document category uh, this agro and vkorg was already extended if i go and check it um, okay it was already extended in my previous implementation these two values has been added our net value and sales organization net value and sales organization so these two values have been added net value and sales organization so this is my view here net value and sales organization so let's go and check out ddic view how it has been generated into the system i will go for view i will paste here and i will open it mm, okay one append structure i have already implemented that's why it's coming here yeah agro and vkorg i had already implemented so they have been added here automatically another append structure has been added this time net value and sales organization net value and sales organization which has been added at this moment when we have implemented our cds view 6 okay so net value and sales organization so this is how we can extend our cds view and whenever we will extend a cds view a append structure will be added to our corresponding ddic view which will be generated at the run time extend simply means adding the new columns into the append structure into our uh, cds view okay so thank you very much for watching this video we will continue from next part